All right, how's it folks and welcome to the 14th episode of my Skyrim Geogast playthrough where we are once again doing the 60 second time limits. And it looks like the Wii Sum has already overtaken me for this one, getting full points at 25,000 points in 3 minutes 14 seconds. You one of my subscribers, but well done, that's pretty impressive. And in the community poll you guys voted for me not being able to move around, so we're going to do those two restrictions together. If you'll notice, I'm already in second place for this one. Unfortunately, OBS bonked out a little and recorded a black screen. So this is me essentially re-recording this episode to try and get this one out of the way. Hopefully I can get better than that, maybe even get first place. But in order to get that, I'm going to need to get more than 24,973 points. And okay, we've got ourselves a waterfall river to our south. And not much else of note. Is there a path on the, there is a path on the other side and okay I think I recognize that little thing. It's where you meet one of the um companions in the Dawn God quest on down here somewhere. It's on our side, yeah. The sin, yes, that thing. So we we are north of that, okay. And not very easy to work out where exactly. So we got a bit of an overhand and some small three pinned rocks to our our west. So we oh jeez, I ran out of time without even realizing it. Okay, so that we were in that area, it was just other rocks I was meant to move across on. I was trying to look for the overhand, but they kind of difficult to spot from the bird's eye view. Okay, so, okay, there's Silent Mary Camp. Bit of water, and then there's that Mammoth Poachers Camp then. Okay, so I know roughly where I am, so it's this water. And then there's a poach, hunter's poachers camp then. Okay. We're basically in an open field near dead tree. It's not very distinctive again. Okay, so that looks like a clump of trees to our northeast and clump of trees elsewhere. Is that the dead tree? That's the dead tree, I think. That's directly north of us, so we'll be south of that. And then... Uh, running out of time, so I'm just going to lock that, uh, that answer in. Yep, that's pretty much on top of it. And that's three meters away, full 5,000 points. On to round three, and it is a paved road in the rift. Unfortunately, I can't move around and see exactly where I am, but that looks like a towel of some sort on the hill. I think this is that back road, and that tower is where you that woman gets turned into a, a crone, Hagraven. So it might be that tower over there. So where's that tower positioned from us? Southeast. So we will be northwest of it, so we'll be along this road, and then... Be on a bit of an overhand in the tree line, so that's difficult to spot. So that looks like an overhand. Where's that falling down tree? Is that it to our northwest? Yeah, so that, yeah, I think we'll just take that answer. Yep, that is it. I'm pretty happy I was able to figure that one out. Uh, three meters away, full 5,000 points. On a bit of a roll now, round four, and where are we? Okay, so we near that. I really need to learn the name of that shipwreck. Okay, so where are we are on the pathway? So we're on the second path by the dead tree trunk. Okay. Now, oh, where's that dead tree trunk? This part here. And that is directly south of it, so we're north. And we are pretty much opposite that patch think yeah the the inside patch not that outside patch so I'm gonna take that and yep 
also another three meters away for full 5,000 points. Pretty happy with that. And going into round five, what are we going to get? Okay, we're on this road. I know this road. It's... Yeah, and there's a, a Trinox sign for this in here. And we're along this road here. Okay, so... Looks like we're on a bit of a, the rocks just before... Um, the, the lip, that lip over there, and we are in the second half of it, somewhere along the middle, in between two, two of these little bushes, I think that might be it, so we're going to take that as our guess, uh, just close enough for the full 5,000 points, 10 meters, but pretty happy with that, which leaves us with a grand total of... Sorry, I misclicked there. 24,953, which is pretty much exactly what I got for the previous round to get me into the second place. So I guess that's just uh, reproducing the same result. <laughs> okay, so that should put, put me in second place. I'm just interested in uh, what the, the time was for that. So that was 4 minutes 9 seconds. So pretty much exactly the same place so I didn't scuff it up or cheat or, cheat or whatever just um, 20 exactly 20 points short of first place so not too shabby uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one and you guys have a great day cheers for now